let's get this recording going for humans. All right. So this was submitted, as with all the decks tonight. Um, and we've got a pretty standard human shell. Um, ziggurats, caverns, uh, horizon canopies, a couple snow cover lands, unclaimed territories, a waterlogged grove. We got four champions, four nobles, four aether vials, four thalias, guardian, and lieutenant, four images, three kite sails, four meddling mages, two deputies, four reflectors, four mantis riders. Over the side, three champions, two engineers, two dismembers, two oofs, one more deputy, um, and then we've got two teagues and three chalices. So, without much further ado, let's jump into this league. So I got to rant a little bit about my the class that I was in. I was in this financial class. Um, I switched this finance, and I'm like, I'm cool with this. But for this last week, I've been taking this exam because it's it's an open book online class exam. But for the six weeks leading up to this, we've been doing homework, we're doing article reviews, discussion board postings. We get to the final exam, and nothing that we've worked on is on the exam, and I'm like so annoyed. And I'm like re-going through everything just to relearn it because of it. And I'm like, this is so stupid. Like, I shouldn't have to deal with that. Like, if you're going to give me homework, it should be what the exam is on, right? Okay, that's my rant. I'm done. Uh, let's just look at this hand. We can go Vile, Champion. This seems good. Like, I'll never understand teachers that do that. Like, why give me homework? Like... Why give me homework that has nothing to do with my classes? Like, what's the point? And it's a self-study, which means, like, I have... N There's, like, three other students in this class. There's, like, nothing going on. Looks like we're going against the Hog Daddy. Deputies should be good against them, right? If they, as long as they don't have like a crazy start, but they didn't have a, a supplier turn one. Ooh, we get the troll. And I do want to use that. Okay. So, just so I'm clear here, I want to run out Thalia's Lieutenant, trigger on the stack, then I run out Champion? Or do I run out Champion, then Thalia's Lieutenant? It's Thalia's Lieutenant right, first, right? Because Thalia's Lieutenant, trigger, Champion, and they're both 2-2s. Two Otherwise, I go Champion, because having 2-2-2s two two is better than having 1-3-2. Or should we be waiting to get the Mantis Rider in play? Yes, trigger the sack, okay. Lieutenant first. Okay, so cast it. Resolves. Triggers on the stack. Activate this. Yes, throw that out there. Trigger. Okay. Hmm, swing all they want. We're not blocking. They want to pitch everything to this. We're going to just deputy it. Blood gas, hogak. Ooh. I should have ran ancient ziggurat out last turn. So then I could have the potential to deputy this turn. That's a mistake.
Okay, so we can... We can Mantis them, Kite Sail them, but we'll probably want to Kite Sail them on their draw step. Swing at them for nine. Fatal push, sure. All right, there, draw step. Vile. Yeah, I guess I could have increased the damage. But we are not bad, but that Vengevine trigger is pretty good for them. And they're going to get a Hogak. So depending on how they sequence this, it's interesting they're tapping the carrion. I don't think they would cap tap the carrion. Well, like, why not tap the stitcher? Maybe it's because it can't block. I think we just have to take the nine, right? Yeah, we're not trading here. Not if we want to win. Yeah, I did see that people were talking about banning Supplier over banning Hogak, but I feel like that's putting a Band-Aid on the situation, and they're going to have to be careful of uh, never doing anything with the Graveyard again. Like... Oh, that was a mistake. I guess it still works out. All right, so we can go... I should have bumped up to three, obviously, but I clicked no by mistake. Um... We can deputy take their Hogak. Can we kill them this turn? We can't, right? Like, they can block with the Stitcher. And if we go Deputy Deputy, they're a wizard, Vidalkin, not, um, not a human, so it doesn't pump our team. Should we just copy their Hogak and then Deputy it? And then swing for three. You want to vial the image on the troll? It has trample. Aren't we better off going image, copying the gak, deputy, um, taking out their gak? And then that way we can block down their creatures and hit them for uh, three in the air this turn and then kill them next turn. Yeah, I think the line's either copying the image and hitting him for six or copying the GAC, but I think copying the GAC gives us better, um, is a better payoff, right? Yeah, so let's vial in. Yes, image, copy their Hogak. 
And then we're gonna go... Have to run out the canopy. Go white, blue, colorless, deputy. And we're gonna deputy their GAC. Sure. I think we just hit him for three in the air. I think we can afford to tap the four and give them more, uh, more beneficial. Mm -mm So is this the slower version of it? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it's the correct call to ban supplier overall over banning GAC. I feel like you should just ban GAC. Um, Car, um, Carson's math show that right now they have a sixty percent chance of casting GAC on the most popular version, and if you cut uh, supplier, it drops down to a thirty-seven percent chance, right? But like that's not that's not solving the problem. The problem, unfortunately, is just whole GAC at this point. Like the the, the format has not been able to adjust to it. Okay, I think we're gonna go. So we've gotta go Hogak here. And then we can go Kite Sail here, because that's the next biggest threat. Deputy here, and then we'll take the block here. I don't think they, because they swung out, I don't think they can really do anything to come back. We're going to be able to, we're hitting them for four in the air no matter what. We're going to three in the air no matter what, bring them to five, and then they've got to deal with the trampling Hogak now. Just casting Grave Crawler twice, sacking it, bringing back Vengevine. That does not block enough damage. They're going to be taking nine. All right now, they'll, they'll still be taking a bunch of damage because Vengevine can only block um, Hogak and still get trampled over for five. And then the champion's going to be doing work as well. Oh, they recast the Hogak, right? Yeah. So they tap both grave crawlers and then recast the Hogak. And if they do that, they can go Gak on Gak. Oh no, they have to. Ta 
Oh no, they they only have um, four in the graveyard. They can't do that. Oh, they can sack carrion feeder. I feel like that's what they'd have to do is sack carrion feeder. Yeah. Sack feeder, cast hogak, tapping on the grave crawlers, and if we swing, they have to block. They'll lose their creatures uh, other than the grave crawlers. Ooh, this is this is a fun game. Okay, this time let's do this properly. Put it to three. Vile, fantastic, does nothing for us. Let's redraw. Kite sail also does nothing for us. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so we can. We have to run out the kite sail just to block. And we can hit them for three in the air. If we swing with Hogak, they'd have to trade Hogak for Hogak. That's still correct, right? We're going to go Kite Sail. And... Feeders, fine. All right. So we swing, and then they have to go Hogak on Hogak, otherwise they die. Champion will eat their Venge Vine. Mantis Rider will hit them for three. We have Champion, Mantis Rider, and Freebooter left to block. That's what we're doing. So they can still go feeder, sack a grave crawler, get a feeder, get a venge vine. But if they go that line, we can block with kite sail. Yeah. Does this version run the main deck trophy? This is still game one, right? <laughs> Yeah, if we get an engineer on zombies, it just shuts off the entire grave crawler interaction they have. the two thank you for the follow Franco CV much appreciated yeah I think I just want to block there take two
Oh, that's a dead draw. Um, we can put them to one, and I think that's it. We just needed another spell here, another creature. The lieutenant would have won us the game, of course, but... We can swing. We can swing with everything. They use champion on the Venge Vine. Well, if we blocked, we would have been in the same situation. And actually a little bit worse, right? Because they can just keep recasting the Gravecrawler. By, by keeping the the free brooder, it opens us up to winning if we get a lieutenant, because otherwise, lieutenant doesn't win us the game. Here, lieutenant would have won us the game. No, so, like, that won't change anything, though, right? Because, like, if we block it and trade, we're at four. I guess, so I guess we wouldn't be dying, but it the, my line allowed us for us to win with a lieutenant, but... Either way, we're dead here. So let's swing out and see what they do for blocks, I guess. Fair, fair. All right, so we're done here. So, Oriok seems good, chalices seem good, so do deputies and engineers. Is that a lot to be bringing in? Thalias don't seem great. Kyle, uh, th kite seals don't seem great either. Am I bringing in too much? Don't bring in chalice. Okay. Maybe just that then. We can bring we can take out the Thalias and the Kite Sails, bring in the Deputy, the Plagues, the Champions, and the Dismember. That's where we're going to go with it. Alrighty. This seems pretty good. Yeah, I thought Chalice was great on the play too, but... Uh... Ob slash was against it, so I went with that judgment. But yeah, I usually like to bring in uh, chalices against these decks. Uh, if you get a good chalice on one, it stops a good chunk of their decks. They can't get Karen Feeder. They can't do the Grave Crawler interactions. Looting dies.
That's an interesting build they got there. I didn't know they played Shriekhorn. I guess at least we got one Hogak out of their deck. At the plus side, Reflector Mage and Images Reflector Mage seems awesome. Tap their whole team. Play Hogak? Yeah. That's a Hogak. So should we just image it or should we... Well, we can't image it. Never mind. So it's, that's not even an option. Um, we can just bounce it. Pretty big feeder. I'm gonna take that eight here. I don't think it's worth trading away for not much. Um, champion seems good to block that feeder. We're gonna be going to eight. Oof, it's painful. And I think we're gonna have to get this vial out as well. And I think we're just passing here. Okay, so we're definitely going this here. I guess the Reflector on the Gravecrawler and the Champion on the Vengevine?
Let's run out the lieutenant. We should have to deal with both a grave crawl, uh, a, the Venge Vine again, and a Hogak. See how they want to sequence this turn. It's kind of an interesting turn for them, I think. At the same time, if they sequence us improperly and we get another turn, I think we can kill them. Grave Crawler, Sack Vengevine Defeater, and then Sack Carrion Crawler. Nope, they just want to cast us. Okay, I guess I would have made the the uh, the bigger. I guess they'd be giving us more life if they do that, though. I think we just want to block with... Mm. I think we just want to block with the Lieutenant. Because if they cast Hogak, we'll want to be able to Reflector it. And if not, copying the Venge Vine to Swing for Lethals uh, should be good. And we can take four. Once they swung, they don't have enough to cast the Gak. Sweet. Yes. Okay. lethal right we're gonna copy their venge vine is swing for lethal copy trophy oh did i miscounted oh my god i'm so bad i'm so bad i miscounted <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> i just punted the game nine indeed <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so bad at this game 
Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, man. I messed that up. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I punted that. <laughs> I was so confident we had it too. Oh. Okay, this hand seems uh, risky, but it's got so many champions and nobles that it seems worth it. <laughs> Throw the whole match. Maybe time to move on to Tron. I guess I'll play Tron tonight. It's just gonna have to be a bit. I already promised the other decks first. <laughs> uh, at this rate, if I'm just gonna be playing like this, it's gonna just means we'll be playing Tron sooner than later. Okay, run out champion. I think this is Shadow, it looks like. Let's run out the other champion here. We just apply a lot of pressure. Oh. Red Horde Archivist. Okay. Time for another champion. And then a noble. Member one, they're gonna fail push the other one. But we have a Mantis Rider, we're gonna be able to just swing at them for three in the air. Okay, that's game. Oh boy. So Oriak Champion seems sweet. This is another match where I feel like Chalice is good. Like it stops their whole, uh, a lot of their cantrips and a lot of their, any of their shenanigans from that, right? I don't think we're bringing in those. We could bring in Deputy, but I don't think so. They have so much removal, I don't even know if it's that great. But debatably, we should be taking that out. Human professionals. What should we be cutting here? What should we bring in? Am I bringing? Yeah. Okay, so that's a good hedge here. Okay. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with that. So what are we cutting? Like, I don't think Deputy's good because they have so much removal anyway that, uh, that it's just going to end up being a blank creature half the time. Are the kite sails worth it? They should be, right? Like, we're reaching into what they got going on, making them commit more to it. I'm seeing the guide says I should be taking out the, uh, the meddling mages and the images. And we're supposed to be bringing in the dismembers as well. So it says we should be keeping these, I guess. And then it's saying we should take out the images and the meddling mages and bring these in. Any uh, any objections here? We got 30 seconds left. All right, I'm going to submit. Loading. Oh, this is an awkward hand. We can't keep this. This is also pretty awkward. If we can hit one more... Oh, really? I was going off one of the guides from um, Good Grief Games, and they were recommending that with Five Color Humans that in the Shadow matchup, we should be cutting the mages and the images. So um, I just went with that, but we can definitely swap that out for the following game. Yeah. I'm going to gamble with this hand. If we can hit a land here... We can go chalices into all of our creatures. So I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to ship Athalia. We might get punished real hard. But we're, we're on the draw. We got this. We got this. Oh my gosh, we don't have this. <laughs> Come on. Give me a land, baby. Give me a land. Come on. Like, if I feel like this is not unreasonable to keep this hand. We hit one land here. We got a really, uh, like, solid set of creatures. Yeah, their diversity on the uh, threats does make sense for cutting the meddling mage. Okay, we didn't hit the land. We got it. It's 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 coming up next, guys. It's coming up next. No problem. You guys had all no faith. No faith.
I'm really sad by that Liliana right now. I just want you guys to know that. On the plus side, we can kill it. Yeah, oversliding with any deck um, that has like a core shell to it like this always can uh, result in a pretty big problem. I'm going to run out this vial. And then... Do we run out, want to run out the kite sail or the free booter here? I think the kite sail. No, if they had, I feel like if they had something, they would probably would have played it. But let's go kite sail. Anger. Take anger. Um, we swing at them for. four. Four, they have a four four. They'll be uh I mean for three, they'll have a four four, they'll be at nine. Um should be okay to do one swing. No, let's wait. Can we kill them in one go? I don't think so. I think we have to go this route in order to try to kill them. If we do this, if we swing at all, they can battle, no matter what, they battle rage when we die, right? That's the problem. But let's just swing with the kite sail, then I think we can all block if necessary. They got their anger back. They swing will go to one. Interesting, they didn't cast that anger. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I was very confused what happened there with their concession. I feel like they had another turn at the very least. They just cast Anger, kill our dude. Odd. Very odd. I didn't want to block with... I'd like, the block didn't matter, right? Or I guess it did. 
Yeah. I guess I was playing around, like, the idea, like, I wanted to... No, that was just a bad mistake. I should probably should have just locked. Um, this seems fine. Like, if we block, we don't kill him on our turn. Hey, Awkward Ninja. It's going pretty well. We, I think we, what, 4 1 with Jun? Don't worry, this is me playing humans. It doesn't make much sense at all, right? <laughs> is this. Was Razi? Yeah, this is all Drowsy. I think we just want to run out Meddling Mage to stop a potential Thought Knot. Yeah, I guess it just makes sense that I should have just blocked, but... Like, if we do block them, they don't have to play the anger. If we... Okay. What? Just... <laughs> what are these wins? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I think Plague Engineers, he, yeah, I guess he must have had just an insane thought not hand didn't want to, like, I don't know. <laughs> um, Thalia's and Freebooters don't seem great here. Freebooter probably has a little bit more value because it flies. So let's keep those. Cut one of them. And run that. Yeah, apparently meddling mages is good enough. You cast that and they thought my opponent just concedes. That's a fair point, Dark. We could have brought in the Gaddic Teagues for all of us, Ugin, even Karn, right? Like, they should be probably on the Karn plan. Um, is this hand too greedy? Like, we're on the draw. If we get if we get another land, we get to go champion, champion, Thalia's lieutenant, Thalia's lieutenant. That seems really strong to me. This is probably, like, this is effectively a mold of five if we keep this hand, right? Because Meddling Mage and Plague Engineer is gone. So, yeah. Okay, this seems good. <laughs> he 
he does script a mage, so like should have kept that one, I guess. But we would, we couldn't cast the mage. The sand seems sweet. I think we'll ship one of the nobles. That way we can go noble into our, all of our three drops. So yeah, we could have cut the other two kite sails for the two Gaddic Teagues. That would probably would have been pretty sweet. Don't worry, there's only two more matches of this Humans deck, and then we're going to be moving on to uh, the Greatness. Of Etron. I do like playing all these other decks, though. I gotta say, it makes you feel uh, like... It, it makes you better at the game, right? Like you, you learn more about the game. You get better at what else, what the decks are going through, and what their sideboarding plans are. Because otherwise, you you're not aware of it, and you're not at where you really need to be as a player. Red, white, blue, mantis rider. Let's do some four four beats. Thought knot? Feels like a thought knot. That's a thought knot. Goodbye, deputy. <laughs> I miss you so much. I think we're just going to Reflector Mage. Their Thought Knot. Kind of reset them. Okay, they're just cons... Not to... Oh, because they have to target us. That's really interesting. This list doesn't even have Mariner, though. The list that I got sent doesn't even have Mariner, right? Thirty-eight viewers is a record. I think this is the best night I've ever had. This is really fantastic. Thank you so much for everybody that's joining me tonight. Absolutely appreciate it. And for everybody that is new to the stream, I am here every Sunday, six o'clock till ten at the very least usually uh goes a little bit beyond that but we usually to well for the next couple weeks we're gonna be going until like midnight because i don't have to do any homework after this i could be a responsible adult and just play video games um let's bring in this champion 
and run out this file app. It is good to know, this Thalia should be pretty amazing against whatever blue-red shell they're on. Oh my gosh, that's so rude. Who just bolts a Thalia? Okay. Name human. And let's go red, blue, white, play our Mantis Rider, and get in for six. Oh, uh, yeah, 41, found stuff, drop down, that's okay. <laughs> this is like a really sweet night, though. I really do appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out. That anger is really good. Okay, let's run out this vial and we'll just pass it over. And for everybody that is just joining us, we already ran Jun. We're on humans right now and we're going to be jumping over to um, Etron after this. If we do have time, we'll be pushing it, but if we have time, we'll. Uh, that one, then this one. Um, we'll run a model green Tron as well. Really rude of them. Blue red control. Is this moon? It feels like moon with anger in the main, anger in the main, right? Oh, this is through the breach. Okay, we're done here. It's very unfortunate they had that uh, that uh, cryptic command because otherwise we would have been able to stop them. <laughs> All right, definitely bringing in Gaddock Teague. And I think that's it, right? I don't think anything else is really worth it. It's, I don't know if Oriok's worth it to fade their, like, <clears throat> angers and everything, but it doesn't seem like it. Thinking we trim two images for two Teagues. Yeah, casual hard casting through the breach. That's what they do. Oh, we should bring in the other deputy as well. Actually, should we be keeping the images? No, we can't. I'm thinking of like the really narrow case where we can phantasmal image their emerkel but we'd have to do that in response to the, the the trigger and then it's blocking and all that so no we're fine we're fine oh that's a 61 we have a 61 card deck folks okay this is a pretty good hand um we could have if they didn't uh, if they didn't bounce our, uh, they bounced our um, vial, so then we weren't able to do that as a result of them bouncing our vial. Because they got reset. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like it's back. Okay. That was odd. I think I want to go champion into meddling mage, name Anger. Ooh, I could have just walked myself into it. Okay. A snap block could have been bad. I'm expecting an anger here. Yeah. Pretty good. Passing it over. Okay, blood moon. I'm feeling a bit of lag with this uh, client right now. Probably gonna do a restart after this. I think our champion's getting fried. Okay. It's not good for us. Now we can't cast anything. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I think we're about to get breached and die to another Emrakul. <laughs> Oh man, it's too good. All right, last one. <laughs> you know, I felt like I I thought that humans would have like a better matchup against like that style of deck because you you're like pulling from the resources or something, but it just doesn't matter. Oh. Seems good. Okay, means we definitely want to get this uh, Thalia out right away. And let's see if we can get some beats in. So they're definitely on Natty Tron. See if they're on Eldrazi Tron. Feel like they are. Okay, no Tron. Reshaper, sure. Yep, they're definitely on Eldrazi Tron. That's good for us. Illusion. I think we just reflector that and swing. What do you got for us, opponent? Nothing. So Eldrazi Tron. Thalia does not seem great or freebooter, right? And then we'll take out the Thalia's kite sail, bring in the Teague. Oh, we did also want the engineers. The death touching and striking their creature seemed pretty good. is not doing much at all. Not very much pressure. Yeah, I don't 
think we can keep a hand like that. There's just not enough going on there. This hand's risky. I'm gonna risk this hand. Chipping one of the images. Run that out. Blue, white, red. I think we're just gonna go Mantis Rider. I think I wanna just put in this Teague as well. In case they have anything on all this dust or a car in this turn, we're just stopping it. Ballista would suck. sign. Um, I think we're just going to have to stop the The potential of a walking ballista blowing us out. So we'll copy this and name walking ballista. Let's draw a reflector mage. Reflector the Endbringer. So three to block one. Mm, that's not lethal. Still think we want to bounce it though.
nice. Okay. So we finished that three and two. We're gonna go ahead and stop that recording. Looks like there was a pretty big drop in frame rate overall as well. Okay. So I'm gonna stop this.